Hello there. So um, welcome back to Knox Travels. I'm Neil and um, here I am at the Mall of Asia. I'm not going into the Mall of Asia because it's shut. It's shut at 10 o'clock and I'm later than that. So um, I'm going somewhere else. Come on, I'm going to show you where I'm going. So like I said uh, in my previous videos, uh, I am here not just to change my channel but to um, enhance it, do more. And uh, I'm doing the same sort of things and it's exactly why I'm here today because just down this way, just behind the Mall of Asia, part of the Mall of Asia but um, it's outside, they have uh, lots of rides, lots of um, attractions going on outside along the bay area. So um, we're going to go down there, check it out, see what they've got, see if we can ride some rides. Not sure what time it closes but we're going to go and check out see what's there uh, have a little look around I'm just staying over the road in fact I can see the name of my hotel just over there oh, watch the big curves so yeah we're gonna go, check, go have a look see what's down there see what we can do um, and I thought that's a great way to start my Philippines videos because predominantly no jaywalking oh well everyone else is follow the locals you can't go wrong so uh, because my channel's always been predominantly about attractions I thought I've got to come and do this first uh, there's some other stuff locally that I want to do but I'm just across the road so I'm coming down here and doing that down here we'll see I'll turn you around when we get a bit closer but this is um, all of Asia guys Here we are, just outside this big observation wheel. Uh, I'll show you prices of things in a minute, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little look around. I think they're saying everything closes at 11.20. So, um, what, an hour maybe? I'm not too sure of the time. I think I can see a pirate ship down there. The drop tower down there. Oh! water coming out of there <laughs> so I'm gonna go and check out this I just want to see how busy things are because if it's me on my own um, that's pretty pointless I might as well wait until um, another day I, can't, I could probably do the uh, observation wheel or something like that but uh, doing something like a pirate ship all on your own is a bit boring isn't it so uh, I don't know we'll see we'll see I don't know why I'm walking on here. It's just gonna just gonna trip me up. I'm gonna walk over here. Right, let's have a little look. See how see how busy things are. There's not loads of rides down here, but there's a few good thrilling rides. I think I said a pirate ship, drop tower, um, top a top scan. I think it's a top scan. Um, my my viewers who regularly watch tell me if this is a, a mini top scan or a top spin. I get them mixed up. Top spin, top scan. It looks like it. Whether it's got a different name, I'm not sure. What, what do they call it here? They call it a uh, dream twister. But I think it's a top scan. There's people waiting to go on this one. Waiting. Uh, we'll take a look at the pirate ship, see what, yeah. see what that's like, see how busy it is. Um, there's a few other smaller rides as well. I think um, those are the main rides, and there's a few others. So uh, this pirate ship is a bit tucked out of the way. I'm not sure if uh, anyone's going to come down here to get on that. I love a pirate ship. Looks quiet, and it looks like kiosk here is closed, which might also mean it's no good. There's someone there, but whether or not there's people on it or not, I don't know. They could be waiting. I think they're well, they're waiting for riders. Uh, yeah. Holy week, holy week hours. 
Mine starts here. Okay, there's a few people on there then. So let's check out the time and see what I can get on. This is um, crowded as the sun goes down because everyone likes to sit along here and you get a nice view of the sunset down here, which is really nice. But I'm here for night to ride some rides. Uh, hopefully we'll get this before it starts and then um, we can just jump on. So we've got a ticket for a uh, pirate ship and a drop tower. Thought I'd start with them, see how I get on because it might be a case of sitting on rides waiting for them to fill up. So I thought I'd get two for now, see how it goes. So um, we've got both of them were 120 pesos each. Uh, so uh, let's jump on. Hopefully it'll go quite quickly and we can get on more rides. Okay, we're on. Uh, not quite a full one. I hope this isn't going to wait until it fills up because uh, we could be here for the next hour. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see how long it takes. It's the uh, larger version of the Vekoma. I think this is the type that they're going to get at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. Um, they did have the smaller version and now um, now they're getting a bigger version. And I think that's what they're getting at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach, so, which is great to hear. This has got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's a 54 seater. I believe. Don't hold me to it. Here we go. Let's wait, see how long we get until the ride goes. I'll just sit here sweating. So we've got the uh, Dream Twister spinning around over there. Come on, guys. I know there's people out there who know a lot more than me about rides, so um, is it a top scan? This is definitely a pirate ship. Ascended it. Oh, he started. We've <laughs> always uh, <laughs> got one that don't like it. Oh, we've not even got going yet. <laughs> Come on! Come on! So the way we do it in the UK is when you go up, the hands go up. When you go down, the hands go down. Yeah. Yeah, see if we can get anyone else doing it. Woo, she's got it, she's got the hang of it. Woo! There you go up, the hands go up. Woo! Woo! <laughs> also, the great thing about a pirate ship is if you want more airtime, push yourself up. When you get that airtime, Push yourself up with your feet and get a good stand in the air. Ready? Woo! Push yourself out of that seat. <laughs> Woo! I see people loving it over here. in the Philippines, they're not used to rides like we are in the uh, UK. They come on the rides once in a blue moon and they're really not used to these thrill rides. But that's so good. <laughs> yeah, some love it, some hate it. Stay in your seat.
why I love these rides so much because you always get one or two people on there that are scared out of their life and it's so funny watching them. The thing is, the more you do these rides, the easier it gets and it just becomes nothing. good cycle like that one they didn't hold back nice one now I'm gonna to head to the uh, drop tower hopefully we'll get that on on there nice and quick there isn't as many seats to fill so hopefully they'll just send it within a few minutes uh, people are gonna go on it and hopefully of course I fit on it it's a drop tower um, I have been known not to get on drop towers because of uh, my size but we'll give it a go Grill station. Oh look, fish, choose your fish to eat. Very nice. Right. Let's, let's find this drop tower then. Got cheerle cheerleaders in there. Very nice. Oh. Right. You're wondering why I'm not going on this um, dream twister here. I've never actually done one of them, something like this. A little bit worried. But I will. I will if, if I can. <laughs> but if it's empty, then I'm not going to sit in there waiting for people to um, jump on. I might, if I'm, if it's ready to send, I might jump on it. But we'll go and do the drop tower. Then maybe this observation wheel. See the sights. See what we can see over Manila at night. I said, uh, how long is it going to take for me to say I'm hot? I'm hot. Uh, about, about three hours. <laughs> that's, that's, that's about how long it took for me to say I'm hot. Uh, it's not too bad though, to be honest. And then again, it is night time. It is like nearly, nearly how hot? Gone half ten. Uh, so uh, you can imagine how hot it's going to be later in the uh, middle of the day. It is, it is quite hot. This is kind of like um, as hot as it gets in the UK. <laughs> this is its maximum temperature now at night in the heat, heat of the summer. <laughs> but you can't come here and complain about the sun though, can you? That's what you come here for. Well, that and uh, do vlogs. <laughs> there we go. There's the um, observation wheel again. <laughs> do have to remember to get myself a thumbnail at some point. Whether I do it on ride or off ride. Let's get these lights in as we go past. Keep it all lit up, nice and light. Oh. We've got a bumblebee ride over here. It's just like a flying Dumbo's. Nothing for me, just a family ride. I mean, the drop tower is a very small drop tower. So that's not a problem. I don't know if it's a, a just a drop or it's a, one of the bouncy ones, the ones that bounce you. Like the one at Yama. Uh, who knows, we'll see. Bit of a party going on in there. People dancing. Very nice. Got some sort of a uh, ride the way um, place you can go out on a boat nice and fast. It looks like they're still open to be honest. Didn't expect that. 200 per head. 200 pesos per head for a boat ride. Very nice. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Hello. Hello, kitty. Hello. Uh, no. I don't I think they're closed now. And uh, unfortunately, looks like I'm the only one going for the drop tower. Oh. Oh, I'm not sure. Not sure.
probably took it and take this. Oh. It's literally no one there. Let's see. Oh, that's got a figure. Driving around in. That's cool. So here's your drop tower. Like I said, I'm not going on it if there's no one else there. Let's have a look over here then. Over here's your bumblebee. Like I said, just like a flying Dumbo's just cleaned up to bumblebee. Airplanes get over here. I there was um, oh, I saw a, oh, I saw a chair swing up at times. So I might be over there. The yo-yos. Uh, got the bumper cars, which is uh, small bumper cars. Yeah. Small bumper cars. It's the same type you get at uh, Pleasurewood Hills. In fact. Oh, they've got loads of people right now. Let's go. Walk of shame there. I'm too big to get on the drop tower. It's a prediction I made, but um, had to try. Oh, well. Uh, I suppose I better go on the um, observation wheel then if I can't get on the drop tower. I know you're all saying I should go on the dream twister. Oh. You guys, I can hear you already. Maybe I should then. Uh, you know it'll be game over if I go on the Dream Twister. But that's about it. I think, yeah, like I said, there was um, some chair planes over there, your chair swings, but they're just the small version. The ones are like yo-yos. Um, they're kind of like family ones, so uh, not for me. That. The wheel. It's great. Quite a nice shot, actually. It's, uh, it's got to be a thumbnail, isn't it? Got to be a thumbnail. There's no one waiting, but I still have a feeling that I'm not going to fit. Uh, I don't think so. No, these um. These things uh, are very short. I don't think I'm going to fit. Too big, yeah? Yeah, too big. <laughs> don't worry, we'll be doing more thrill rides um, in different places. We've got lots of places to go to that have rides. But um, this is one of the smaller places that I'm going to. We've got Star City, which is um, further that way, which we'll do at some point. Well, I know when I'm doing it, but you don't. Uh, going to Enchanted Kingdom, which is the um, main theme park here in the Philippines. And um, Sky Ranch we're going to in Tagaytay. So lots of different uh, theme parks and, and uh, amusement parks. So I'll be doing lots more rides on my trip. Don't you worry. And there's lots more screens as well, because I've got something very special coming for you, uh, you people who like to see me scream. It'll be happening. Right, let's get a ticket for this and jump on. Okay, so we're going to go on the observation wheel now. It's um, 200 pesos for a regular entrance. And they also have a VIP entrance, which is uh, an extra 50 pesos. Uh, the difference is, I think the VIP has a glass floor, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm not bothered about a glass floor because uh, I'm not scared of heights. I'm not really going to be looking down at the floor. I want to be looking at the views out of the windows. So um, I've just gone for regular. Thank you very much. Cheers. There we go. Let's jump in. Follow this guy. Salamat po. Oh, and the air conditioning is lovely. Oh. That's, that's worth 200 pesos alone, these air conditioning. Lovely. So this will be the last ride. 
probably just have a little walk up. Might see if I can get some food from somewhere. There should be some like street food outlets. So uh, we'll try that. But nice little trip. I wanted to show you what's here. I will be doing a Mall of Asia video. Uh, but I didn't want to include it in the same video. This is something um, different. Something that people who regularly view my channel will want to see anyway. Because it's... Um, theme parks and attractions so uh, yeah I had to do this separate but I will be doing more entertainment that's in the Mall of Asia if you don't know what the Mall of Asia is it is the biggest mall in the Philippines and I think maybe the third biggest in Asia I'm not sure but it's, um, it's big it's very big uh, and I've got all sorts in there so we'll have a be looking a look around that uh, in the next for four or five videos I don't know when I'm putting that up but uh, it'll be coming so there's a nice little view let's have a little look shall we should we get some b-roll it's quite slow just want to say a big thank you to the uh, subscribers the people that come up to me today um, such a great reception in the Philippines people uh, love vloggers so much I, I don't even get this kind of attention um, when I'm going to Great Isle of Pleasure Beach my uh, local park where most of the people who follow my channel all know me from so um, it's, it's amazing and that's exactly why I come to the Philippines because I know they love vloggers and they are just um, are so friendly with it they're happy to approach you ask you what your channel is and it's, um, it's such a refreshing thing to uh, feel accepted as um, someone with a camera than rather than somewhere, someone who is shunned in the UK. Lots of people is, uh, don't film me, you can't film here. It's all that in the UK and it's getting worse and worse. And I really hope the Philippines stays as it is because uh, their attitude towards people with a camera is fantastic. I absolutely love it, and I absolutely love the people. Let's have a look at the more some small views. So not only have you got the Mall of Asia over there, you've got all the uh, big posh hotels and casinos all down here. Um, it is a, a, a top area for tourism, and that's why I'm staying in this area, because I'm doing lots of attractions and things like that. A lot of it is in this area and um, easy to get to from where I am staying. Very nice. Unfortunately, there's windows a bit scratched up. You probably can't see too much, but uh, we'll try and get the best view we can. There we go. As you can see, it's all sorts of there. There's um, some van phantoms over there. We'll go and take a look. We'll look bit further down. We will be down here more because later on in my trip I'm going down here to a um, buffet called Vikings which is very famous in the Philippines. Philippines, uh, sorry, Vikings Buffet. Uh, it's a very nice buffet and all for I think 900 pesos. Fantastic price for a buffet. That includes your drinks and alcohol too. And the other way, there's not too much more like you see, there's a pirate ship. That's about all you've got going down that way. There we go, that's my final look from uh, the eye, the Mall of Asia eye. Let's carry on walking around. So one thing I will say about here, if you go on Kluke, although I didn't myself because I wasn't sure I was coming today, if you go on Kluke, which is a website that um, does tickets and things, um, they have tickets for here, which is, uh, they do unlimited riding. I think it's for something as little as 200 pesos or something crazy like that. Um, the price of one ride so uh, it's worth doing if you want to come here and do a few rides get those unlimited tickets 
on Kluke. I'm not sponsored by Kluke, but uh, I think it's a great website. I found a lot of stuff on there that I'm going to be doing on this trip. Right, you've got a nice, nice chill out area. I've, uh, there's a name for it that Filipinos have as a hangout area. I've forgotten. My wife told me what it was, but I've forgotten what it is. I should have wrote it down. But there is a there is a word for a hangout area. That's the, that's one of the hangout areas then, isn't it? That's what she was talking about. And of course then um, the classic insta shot there. Lovely. Wait for him to take a picture before I walk across. There we go. I don't want to photo bomb anyone, do I? We're just gonna go and look at this um, lovely fountain over here. Very beautiful. I'm, I'm waiting to give you the reveal. Get a good shot and give you a good reveal. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for the reveal? I've got to think this is a wide lens, so uh, I've got to wait for the good reveal. Wait for these guys to come past and then we'll get a good reveal. You ready? There's your reveal. Beautiful. There, isn't that nice? Nice little coloured water fountain for anyone to enjoy. Another hangout spot. What's it called? I'm going to look it up. Someone comment below. What's a Tagalog for a hangout spot? I know there's a word. Of course, you've got some uh, classic game stalls here. Very nice. Look at that. Prize every time. Everyone's a winner. Hello. Two balls to win. I'm going to show you how to do it. Oh, very gentle. Very gentle is the way to do it. There you go. One. Can he win? He's in. He's won. It can be done. It can be done. Yes, sir. Hiya. Ring. Ring, ring toss. Ring toss. Ring toss. Ring. That's very nice. Another chill out spot. Nice uh, two tier merry go round. That's what we got. And there's the yo yo's that I was talking about. The wave swinger. Just there. I like the little feet sticker at the bottom. I think it's um, bigger than the ones, the one. That, Pleasure Beach, but still family size ride. And uh, I think I'm a little bit too big for it. But here we go, here's some um, food place over here. We'll have a look. Oh, Fuku Frutas, Frutas, fruity drink. Oh, it's a, uh, oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Oh. Let's have a look, let's see what we got down here in the way of food. I think uh, it might be, might be closing. It's getting late, yeah, everyone's cleaning up, look. It's uh, too late in the day. Sukiyaki, takoyaki, buko, yeah. Popcorn, popcorns. And uh, squidgy food shop. If I said squidgy food shop, what would you say they sell? I have no idea. Hot dogs. There you go. What else we got? I think that's a uh, that's a lot for food. I think I missed some a bit further down, but they're all uh, cleaning up. So. I think that's it. End of the day. Oh, he's got some. Uh... Oh, coffee. This could be the move. I think I'm gonna get coffee. I think here in the Philippines, I'm not gonna go and use Starbucks. I'm gonna go and use local coffee places. And thank goodness I found one. It's quite close to me as well, so um, they might be seeing a bit more of me. Their coffee's good. Also, they'll be seeing a lot more of me. Time for testing. 
Yeah, that's the one. Nice and strong as well. Good one. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. I like that. Mmm. Oh, that's really nice actually. Better than Starbucks any day of the week. So you're wondering why I'm drinking a hot coffee. Saying I'm really hot, well, there's one easy reason. Because now I've got to go back to the hotel and do loads of editing. I'm up half the night editing now. So uh, I've got to get these vlogs out, keep them coming. There we go. So um, that's it from here, from uh, SM by the Bay, I think his proper name is. Uh, a nice little ride on a few rides. One I couldn't get on. Had a good little time to show you what was here. Uh, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.